all right guys for kage here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are solo leveling arise will be the topic on today's video i wanna give you the best build in my opinion for sunk of course there is different type of variations this is not like for 1 million percent this is how exactly you should build your sunk at the end of the day this is that beautiful thing about this game where it gives you the freedom to build sunk in your own way so i don't want to take it away from from you that part but at the end of the day i will still still talk about in my opinion best build for him and overall how i will build him still work in progress but i w i didn't want to start making this type of videos until i'm sure what i'm talking about okay leave a like subscribe uh you can expect build for emma and many other videos related to that the beginner guide is on the way uh today i was fighting with my pc uh but finally now uh, everything has been sorted and pretty much i'm using now on very high high normal whatever depending and i'm streaming live uh recording etc etc et but yeah i had some problems with obs etc but let's forget about that uh sunk best build let me start with that so um what i mean about the best build overall i will talk about the stats i will talk about his skills uh although we're gonna just cover basic stuff related to his skills it really depends on you i really encourage people that you try various styles and then you decide for yourself like um i won't like give give it all away let me say it like that uh but definitely i will talk about my style and then blessing stones at the end of the day uh still this part you're gonna craft uh, if i remember correctly i believe that's how i got it so this is more like towards the end game uh so we're gonna talk about that of course we're gonna talk about the artifacts uh this is my big work in progress yet because i made few mistakes here that cost a lot of coins but i i could go pay to win route but i just want to suffer a little bit more here uh and then um in like week week or two I will go for a few packs related to massive coins so I get another massive boost. But I wanted to suffer so I learn as much as possible. That's pretty much that. Low spender, but I didn't spend uh, in a while. Uh, so that's the, the artifacts part. The skills, what should you level up first? I will also mention that as well. Also, if you have any other additions, please tell me that in the comment section below. And at the end of the day, we're going to talk about the weapons overall. What, what, what combination of weapons are the best or what you should aim for, etc. Really depends on the fight. Anyways the big question constantly that many people ask song stats i already talked about this many many times and as you can see i'm just going for the precision and attack now i'm not saying that's the best way to go but i can assure you that precision and attack is where song will shine i also done few testings and overall depending on the game mode you might reset your uh, stats like if you need to do massive crits a lot of crits and a lot of damage you're gonna increase that agility but for now let me talk basic stuff so precision is one of those stats that it's a must focus on precision until it's like 80 to 99 percent it really depends on you mine is now currently 88 um uh, mm, i might do a few more testings but now i'm lacking coins because i didn't buy anything like money really helps out i want to suffer a little bit longer like i said so precision for now it's 88 percent i see people doing 80 to 99 most of the time but this is where that you stop at 99 the most and then you focus on attack uh, why precision is so much important i already talked about this many times but let me say it one more time enhance your perception stat to increase your precision as your precision increases your minimum damage dealt to enemies increases 
So that's pretty much those minimum damage dealt will increase with this so this is those little punches i would say and they really stack up overall with other damages you do to him to the enemy so this is where he will scale and attack attack is also where uh sung will shine in a lot of times many people went with only defense not hp not so much working uh, not many people but people did test tested uh, test out a lot of things and i did overall so crit hit the crit uh, rate and critical hit damage they ignore attack no this doesn't work so well the thing that actually works so well is this combination like 80 to 99 percent precision a lot of attack and also additional mp cooldown reduction this is also some combination people tend to use but again as you're gonna progress as you're gonna le learn more you might adjust your uh, stats depending on the game mode and the result you want to have but this will cost you a lot of coins coins is a big issue in this game so that actually coins is where your freedom stops literally so long story short focus on precision 80 to 99 percent then go full on attack and then as the time goes you're gonna play around that's literally that this is where the song will shine uh, with his stats let's let we go to the artifacts now like this is like two most important things for your um song to shine i did many mistakes with artifacts uh, but I learned a lot from making those mistakes. So again, our goal for the Sung is to increase his ultimate damage overall. Uh, but even more important, I'm not. This is not the perfect build for him, by the way. Not the perfect example. Let me continue talking. I'm just experimenting stuff and trying new things. Uh, but. For him, you want that his attack goes as much as possible high up. Uh, his critical, why not? With the artifacts, you can, uh, since with the stats, you're going to be focused on the attack a lot and precision. With the artifacts, you can compensate that critical hit damage and rate up as well. So we're going to talk about multiple variations that can work really, really well on Sunk. Okay. Now, the stupid thing in this game, again, is when I level up my artifacts, when I change them, I'm going to lose coins. So I cannot have like full on freedom to show you exactly. So you will have to listen to me, but I will show you, but you will have to listen. I still stand at this, in my opinion. Uh, one hit kill can work really well with Sunk. You can go with full set or double combination of two sets. Some people uh, recommend four sets. Some people recommend that combination. I personally say, depending on additional stats you have and depending what the four set effects does to your character in the two sets. In my opinion, sometimes it's better to have a like combination. Okay. Uh, so having increased ultimate skill for Song is, in my opinion, can be really broken uh, in certain game modes and or when you need that insane uh, ultimate damage. I believe that can be extremely helpful for him because he is actually doing insane ultimate damage and decrease the ultimate skill cooldown. So this set full set is actually super busted. Uh, and in my opinion, it really works in certain, uh, in a lot of situations, especially on the ones where you're related to your uh, ultimate skill. This, for example, uh, artifact is really uh, important for him. I am currently now level uh, grinding the level 50, level 55, getting those legendary ones. This is only like temporary artifacts for him. I will have much better really really soon so increase the user's attack by five percent this is the two set now four set when attacking ignores 50 percent of the target defense and attacks by the way this artifact can work really well as well on song okay really 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 well now let me check out other 
that can work really well with him critical hit rate your critical hit uh, damage increase this if you can get level 55 i, I can i believe you can uh legendary one of this one it's it, it's actually perfect and then you look at the additional stats you see additional attack perfect critical hit rate perfect damage increase perfect Acc attack perfect okay definitely this is a good thing to use on him so i will have mul multiple variations uh, what i will use on him again that will cost a lot but hopefully they're gonna fix it some people also told me your power gauge acquisition rate increases by 20 and the four set related to this uh, demon's body armor is actually super broken Rel related to the power gauge and lol you look at this when the battle starts cha uh, charges power guard by 50 percent and additionally increases the player and the party's power guard acquisition rate by 20 percent this is no joke as well so you can play around for example shield increase i don't know i wouldn't use that for him uh, hp increase by eight no this is not for him what else crit is good for him shield not uh hp no did i miss anything increase basic attack damage by eight uh 18 percent increase core attack damage by 18 percent and when the attack hits charges core gauge by 60. uh this as well i i i i need to test it out but this as well can uh loki really work on the sunk as well so really you can play around those type of stuff uh depending on what do you get at the end of the day and i believe you, you're gonna be more focused on that but this is the best artifacts built for him for 100 percent especially that critical rate especially that attack part attack part and that ultimate i absolutely love for him and if someone did test it out how it's how it's working with this full set i'm super interested this might be like also really really crazy for him but i'm not sure i, I was talking about the ones i'm pretty pretty sure for the sunk okay and now about the necklaces and all of that look what i'm using this one i'm pretty happy increases attack by five percent for four seconds when landing a critical hit i believe this set can actually work perfectly with this set i just need to get the proper uh, rarity and the level i believe these two combinations for him low key could be one of the best because you're gonna land a lot of crits and with that you're gonna get a lot of increase in attack and in that way he will actually explode so this is what i'm using and look at this the four set is actually the attack increase effect stack maximum increase to four instances again he really goes insane with the attack especially when you have the percentages this is definitely the best right uh part for him but one of the best um still need to see about this i believe really it's situational but when attacking enemies with 40 percent or less hp increases damage dealt that can be really good for him and then for set hp condition has been changed to 70 and the damage increase uh, effect increases to 20 that's pretty good set for him this one no please don't use it Th no this one actually increases skill mp consumption rate but increases damage though by five and decreases eh, I, I i i don't like that for him not at all purple is not bad this one no no yeah so pretty much this one but i find red one the best for him just because the attack will escalate so this is about that part legendary level 55 if you can get it that would be perfect and overall another tip here I did many mistakes with artifacts like i said focus on just like when you know it's only temporary artifact just level it up to plus five so you get the additional stat and that's it and then when you get an actual legendary level 55 this is a one one of those that you will definitely keep because the stats and everything else are pretty much higher okay this is the two most important uh thing for song to actually shine uh, but of course there is few more things i need to talk skills okay the skills i believe this deserves like another topic for the video 
Uh, that's why I say I leave this to you uh, to have fun a little bit with it. Because it's really situational, but I can tell you right now the things that I'm mostly using and what I absolutely love. And that is the double slash, if I'm not mistaken. is the, Am I using this one? Basic skill one. No, I'm using this one. Yeah, uh, this one. Uh, break heavy. I absolutely love that. Uh, most of the targets have that uh, breaking. Uh, the shield and everything else. Plus, you can break it much faster like that. So, in that way, they can do shit and then you destroy it. Your damage increased by 20 uh, when you attack enemies with their weakness attribute. All of that can be, like, super really helpful. Then, the basic skill 2, I use the um, Mutilate. Uh, this is pretty crazy because it can freeze and add the frostbite and then I use the weapons for example the demon blade uh, to really destroy him there I get that one second of advantage so this is pretty much the basic skills I'm using most of the time some of them are good against the bosses some of them I absolutely don't like but I still need to furthermore test few things but based on my testing that I did this is my best and then the ultimate skill, I use Truth Mutilate uh, pretty much constantly because it's crazy area attack and massive damage overall. Level it up as much as possible. Uh, also level up those skills you're using, but at the end of the day, don't go too crazy until you're sure. That's short in the skills. Blessing is something for mid game and game. You're gonna unlock it by overall grinding the game. And I don't even know how I get that material, bro. I didn't pay attention. But always use this. Like, not always, but for now, Blessing Stone for Immortality is a must. And then everything else is like play around. How you're gonna play? That's on you. Okay, that's about pretty much everything. Now the weapons. Weapons, weapons, weapons. I can tell you right away in my eyes the best SSR weapon is the mini demonic plums flower sword. That's pretty crazy weapon for him. But pretty much all SSR weapons are pretty crazy. Okay, by the way. So I would even say they're in the same tier, but they're pretty much conditional. So uh, honestly, I will say it like that. Uh, based on my usage, uh, Demonic Plump Flower Sword, love it. This one, I recently got it for free. Still leveling up to actually try it, but I know Shadow S Scythe or whatever, to, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's crazy free to play SSR uh, weapon, and I would say this is like probably the second best one. And especially for free, we get another copy, okay? Which is pretty crazy, because increases critical hit rate by 25 so yeah this two uh book one of the best three ssr weapons because of the interruption i still didn't use it but pretty much confirmed and demonic king's long sword since, since i got his first dupe increases the user attack by eight percent it's pretty broken for him okay pretty broken pretty broken for pretty much that first dupe really makes those weapons go freakishly insane for the song Plus here you can, you lose some time because you're doing the counter, so it takes a little bit of time, but uh, it, it can become too immune to damage, some part of the damage, don't go against crazy damages, and that counter can be pretty nuts overall, okay, plus the stun, yeah, stun, okay, so my top four weapons are the ones i will use of course but all song weapons are pretty crazy good even the gun and what what other weapon we have so really really you play around depending on the stage uh, do you like is the enemy weak attribute dark then most of the time you're gonna use demonic and this other free weapon right if you need wind then you use that if you need water water damage you go for that like you you it really depends and sometimes that that doesn't matter sometimes you play around okay there is also some crazy sr weapons but i still honestly didn't test them out because i put all the resources in the ssr ones it is how it is soon i will stop my suffering i'll just do it for one more week 
and then i will go and buy uh, those packages with more tickets for the progress pretty much the ones that are most worth it there i will get a bunch of coins okay but for now i don't want to do it because then i would already waste the summons and everything else a little bit saving here uh, for right moment to shine and here like this i learned the most like that okay guys that's pretty much it overall the full explanation about the best build for sunk hopefully you did enjoy it uh hopefully you understood you understood everything and yeah uh please ask me more questions uh what do you need and i will do ammo builds I'll, i'm doing the weapon tier list soon and many other things okay uh yeah hopefully you did enjoy it and bye